Hi, Yarn to Bees. How are you today? Uh, Bailey and I are having a day at home. Yeah. Um, after the last video where I showed you all that hail, well, today's the next day. <laughs> it snowed. I woke up and there was snow all over the ground. And it was like a really slick snow. So George was saying that the roads were really slippery. And, oh, your breath. You got bad breath. <laughs> um, so uh, I decided to have a snow day and stay home and try and get some crochet done. My back is killing me from moving all the stuff around the shop. So I'm hopped up on painkillers and I'll tell you, I had, I had my heating pad on and it was getting worse. So I used my Dr. Hose machine. Ow, hello, hello. Um, I used my Dr. Hose machine. This thing has saved my butt. I don't know how many times. Um, a lot of people, it's like a tens machine. Uh, a lot of people can't handle it because of the spiky electrical currents that it puts through your body I find it really relaxing and it just relaxes my muscles almost instantly um, so I am feeling a bit better so that's good uh, on my last video I was telling you I was going to be starting a sweater but I couldn't show you this sorry she's she's I don't know she's trying to be lovey today she's just right say yeah hi say hi to peoples hi <laughs> right she's going for a haircut on Monday woohoo yay so I'm so so happy she needs it that she's having a spa day yeah total spa day you know the whole kit and caboodle the you know shampoo conditioner doggy cologne nail trim the bottom of her pads or she's getting her hair cut in the bottom of her pads and she's oh yeah she's getting like the whole thing and it was actually really inexpensive I don't know if this girl is new and she's just trying to get her clientele or if she's been around for a while or what the deal is but she's local that's the best thing for me and she does one-on-one -on -one dog care Bailey doesn't like other dogs so that's perfect um, at least then I know she's not going to be a pain in the butt for her. Um, and so, yeah, <laughs> kind of went off on a tangent there. See, painkillers. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm starting to do, oh, hang on. Let me look at my computer. Um, I'm starting to do the squares and I'm just trying to find the site uh, so I can tell you who whoops who does the squares hang on uh, hooked by Robin hooked by Robin I will leave her link down below for these squares now I'm using before I show you the squares I'll show you what I'm using I want more of this because I'm loving it Big Twist Value. This is from the States, obviously. Um, we in Canada cannot get this yarn. And I was gifted this yarn and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm a huge fan of, like anybody that's been on my channel for a while knows, I am a huge fan of, um, I love this yarn and Yarn B, but I love this yarn prints. And Ombres um, is some of my absolute favorite yarn, and I can't get it. So, uh, I mean, I can ask somebody to go shopping for me down there, but I don't like to do that because, you know, I don't know. I just have issues with that. So I'm going to try and get my passport um, dealt with and maybe take a trip down to the States and not get arrested, hopefully. 
<laughs> yeah. For all the people that are new, you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, um, long story short, uh, I went to the States. I was dating somebody down in the States. Biggest mistake of my life. I was in between... Um, in between jobs, I would just finished my schooling for massage. And so I was in between homes and in between jobs. Um, so I had no ties to Canada. And I was going down to visit this guy quite often. And I got flagged. I look at like hell today. Sorry, guys. Um, I got flagged and they I took my sister down because she had a fiance down there another big mistake um so i was going down there with my sister and my niece taking her down to his place uh, to her fiance's place and we got flagged i got pulled over they tore my car apart they grilled me for like an hour at least um and then they got two guards and an, a lady guard to take me into a back room. The, guard, the girl was putting on rubber gloves. And the other two guards were on either side of me. You'd think I was a terrorist. I couldn't believe it. I was so... I was just like, what is happening? Um, and my sister's looking at me as I'm walking by. And the woman's putting her gloves on. And she's going... <laughs> she didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Um... They fingerprinted me, uh, electronically fingerprinted me. Yeah, they thought I was a flight risk. They figured I was going down to the States to take their jobs or God knows what. I don't know. But anyways, they escorted me back to Canada. They didn't put my car back together. Um, and they made my sister and my niece sit at the border and wait for her fiance to come get her as they escorted me out. Um, and they said, until you can show ties to Canada for the next six months, you cannot come back. Well, I kind of did a, you know, <laughs> screw you. And I never went back. Uh, that was at least 15 years ago. Um, I was mad. I was mad and I thought, you know what? how dare you treat me like that? You know, like I, yeah, I was, I was mad. So anyways, I haven't been back and I've been afraid to get my, pa I had a Nexus pass, which is one of the highest ranking securities there is. And they took my Nexus pass. They took my passport. They, oh, it, yeah, it was bad. So I never went back. But anyways, I'm, now I'm married and I've been in the same house for over 10 years or it, it must be 10 years by now. Um, so now I can show ties to Canada and the only reason, the only reason that I am getting, going to get my passport is a, to go to Hobby Lobby and Joanne's big thing, big, big, big. I will cry in the, the, parking lot of Hobby Lobby. I am sure of it. <laughs> um, and the second thing is I would love to go and see my bestie in Kansas City, Sandy Duda from Left is Right Crochet. Those are the only two reasons that I would ever decide to get my passport again. So, yeah. Okay. So, now that I've explained all that, <laughs> um, yeah. I, so anyways, I started using that and I used, I'm using the white loops and threads from Michaels and my goal is to make a long cardigan, uh, with some granny squares. Now the whole thing is not going to be granny squares. The granny squares are going to be the accents. So I started doing them and, oh God, are you going to see? There we go. I think you can see that. Can you see that? So I'm putting these together 
problem is, is, <laughs> is that the big twist yarn, um, it wasn't only just a heathered look, it, it did ombre. <laughs> so I have darker ones and lighter ones. I've got more lighter ones than dark ones, but yeah, and I was going, oh, okay, so what am I going to do there? So I'm still trying to figure that out. I think I'm going to need three squares for the arms. So what I might do is put a dark one in the middle and the light ones on either side. I think that's what I might do. Um, and then for the back, I want to have these going down the middle of the back. So I may end up going light, dark, light, dark or something, depending on how many squares I can get out of this. Um, but yeah. So uh, that square is by hooked on, done by Hooked by Robin. Um, and it's a, a really easy square to do. Uh, the color changing, I don't like doing, but because I hate doing sewing in my ends. But it's actually, it's a really simple square. It goes really fast. It's only one, two, three, four, three or four rows. But I did, uh, I think she only did one row of single crochets. I did two. That's probably the only difference. But I have to block these or something because they're going all funky. I've never blocked anything in my life. So I don't even have a blocker. So I'm going to have to figure something out. But I think they're going to look really pretty. They're going to be pretty airy. Wonder? No, I don't know. I was going to say I can make the whole sleeve and then put these on top. Um, but uh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. So, um, yeah. And then the rest of the sweater is going to be, I'm thinking white because I'm not going to have enough of this to do a sweater with. So I think the rest of the sweater is going to be all white. Uh, I think I might have one more ball. I don't know, guys. I think I've got one more ball of of the ombre. Or, I mean, of the big twist value. So, I might have enough to do the collar and the cuffs or something. I don't know. I'll have to work it out. I'll have to figure it out. So, I'm excited about that. The other two sweaters, I haven't done anything on yet. Oh, it's okay. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I haven't really done anything with them because I'm kind of getting bored of doing the, um, waffle stitch. Especially these ones because it's taking a while, so. So I needed a bit of a break from that. But we'll see how it goes. I'm, uh, not sure. I just saw a bandana cowl from Craft and a Kappa, I think it is, um, that I'm thinking I might try. Uh, but I mean, it's starting to, <laughs> I was going to say, it's starting to go into spring. Yeah, right. Uh, <clears throat> um, so we'll, I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, oh, you're gonna poke your eye there, puppy. Uh, anywho, um, don't have anything else to say right now, so I guess I will chat with you in a while. Okay, bye. <laughs> you guys want to see what I'm Mickey Mouse myself? <laughs> oh man, um, I don't have a blocking board, so. I took a piece of cardboard and I doubled it, um, doubled it up, and then I took skewers and I stuck them in there, and then I took 
an elastic band <laughs> and put it around so that it would they would sit up straight or somewhat straight and uh that that's my blocking board <laughs> i hope it works <laughs> i've never blocked anything in my life so i never needed a blocking board so hmm let's see if this works hi you're in the bees oh sorry my ears are bugging me um, so today is my day off, but it's not really my day off because I'm making stuff for the shop and I'm finished designing some stuff and I've got a tumbler line going. So yeah, um, I'm going to make some tumblers I'm going to make some car coasters and hopefully if I have time, I'm going to make some t-shirts. So some peekaboo t-shirts. So, I see. I'm, I got a colossal mess happening here. So, hang on. So, I've got some tumblers in the oven. And then I've got these tumblers waiting to go. <laughs> I've got some t-shirts over here that I'm going to start making. I've got car coasters over there that are waiting to be made. And then I've got like a mess over here. <laughs> I've got a mess down here. This is all the paper that gets discarded. And then, oh, excuse me. Uh, this is my designing area. Well, my designing area is in the living room actually <clears throat> where my computer is. And then I cut my stuff and I print my stuff and yeah. So that's what I'm doing today. I am a ragamuffin today. It's my day off. It's daylight savings, so I ended up sleeping in. Excuse me. <sighs> Slept in till I thought eight o'clock, but it was actually nine o'clock. Um Yeah, so that's what I'm doing.
Hi, Yarn of Bees. Hi, Yarn of Bees and Shop of Bees. And Shop of Bees? Well, Shop Watchers. Shop. Oh. Like people that are watching what you're doing with the shop. Okay. Maybe they're not crocheters. Maybe they just like watching shop stuff. Yeah, okay. Like the shopping channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're at the ferry terminal. Um, we are on our way over to see... God, I look so bad. Um, to see Tia and the grandbaby and James and George's mom. My mother turned 86 on the, um, on the 13th of March. So we were going to go over last weekend, but, uh, we had a pretty scary marine forecast. Ferries were getting canceled and high winds and we didn't want to be stuck over there. So we're going to go over this week yeah. and celebrate. So it's going to be a very whirlwind visit. Yeah. Well, because we're both working. This will be the first days off I've had probably in a month. I've been working seven days a week and Sandy's been working at the shop. So we're trying to get things rolling there. So it'll be nice to be off for a couple of days, but it's going to be sort of kind of a business trip, really. We're zipping over to see Tia and the baby and James. And then my mom's thing is on Sunday. My sisters are coming with their kids. So we're having a bit of a little family celebration in the afternoon, but we'll be we're going to get up on Sunday, head up, and we'll spend some time with her before the rest of them get there. And then they'll get there in about two hours. We'll have to run for the ferry and back home again. That's the yeah. reality of living on the island. You always have to be able to make the boat or you're stuck over there. So <clears throat> Yeah, it's going to be an overnight thing. Back to work on Monday. But, but, um, God, I'm just shaking. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> um... I have a line on some yarn that a fellow is selling, um, Egyptian cotton. I'm so excited about that. And a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I have to look at it. Uh, some of the stuff is something that I don't think can be used in my shop. Well, it's um, not a traditional... Um, yarn seller. He's kind of yeah. like a Storage Wars garage yeah. sale kind of guy that obviously found a deal on this yarn. He bought a big yeah. bulk thing of yarn. So we have to sort through to see what's yeah. what's good for the shop and what's not. So yeah. So he he has it's almost like tube it tube yarn. I forget what the name of that um, is, but anyway, tubeter man. It's it's not something that I think is going to sell at the shop. It's more for like making baskets and stuff like that. <clears throat> so it's almost like cord. Oops, cord. So I, yeah, I don't know. Um, he says he's got some thinner yarns, so I guess we'll see. But George is absolutely horrified. Sandy's going to want to buy like 200 balls of yarn. I can just see it right now. Well, the Egyptian cotton, he has 70 balls. <laughs> so. It's kind of personal, isn't it? <laughs> We've never even met this guy. How do you know that? <laughs> okay, I can't. It's too early. You don't I, know that. I, <laughs> I don't Man. even know where that was going. Man. I just, anyway... So seventy balls at three dollars a ball. Yeah, it's two hundred and ten dollars. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's like oh, okay. <laughs> well, anyway. if if it's if it's what people want and people are willing to yeah. buy it at the shop, then obviously it's worth it because we could sell yeah. it for more than that. So yeah. So because it's it's a profit game. Well, I don't think he really realizes what he has, right? Because he's not a yarn guy. Uh, Egyptian cotton is expensive. So, <clears throat> um, I might as well grab it when he, you know, as long as he's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, <laughs> before he realizes what he has. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah. we're going to go steal, steal this off of him. Yeah. Hopefully. Right. So, yeah. Because um, the little Egyptian children don't make the yarn very fast. I guess that's why it's hard to get, right? Really? <laughs> we're, we're going there. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, well, they're all working in the stop. cobalt mine now to, to make the <laughs> oh, electric batteries for the cars. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. So 
we're going to go and check that out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any video footage because I believe it's in his house. So, yeah. So we'll, we'll, I'll try to do something for you guys. So it's a combination visit treasure hunt. Um, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. in 48 hours. Yeah. Or so. Yeah. So no anyway. pressure. Yeah. Oh God. And back to work Monday. Absolutely. This is just terrible. Anyway, okay, guys, so we're going to go, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Hi, Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. Oh, I have stuff in my teeth. So we're experiencing the reality of living on the island. We've come for the ferry. We're an hour early for the 635 ferry, only to find out that we're probably not going to make this one. And the next one is at 8.05, so yeah. we're sitting... Uh, the problem we keep having is people keep coming over to the island even though we tell them we're full and we don't want any more, but they keep coming. So but we had a great visit. It was a pretty crazy weekend. We had yeah. a wonderful time with Axel and Tia. He's so cute. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to pull yourself away when it's time to go. It was funny because we hadn't seen him for I guess, a couple of months. and Well, uh, I saw him for his birth we saw him for his birthday yeah and yeah he was just starting to walk so and he, now he's running he was a little shy for about five minutes <laughs> and, and then he remembered who we were and then yeah. we were all buds again so yeah spent as much time on my lap as anybody else's so yeah. um yeah. so yeah but that was great and then we we had breakfast this morning got up to see my mom so you know it's rough you know, mom's mom's uh, mom's getting close to the end. I think she's looking a little little old and a little tired. Uh, my sister's got over there. Uh, we were supposed to have a bunch come over, but, but that plan got changed because one of the other uh, realities of living on an island. My sister lives on Bowen Island. Is uh, their ferry wasn't running today. They're working on the dock, so she had to catch a water taxi over and then get a ride up. So they didn't come with all their kids and stuff. So there's just my two sisters and us for uh, about a two and a half hour visit with my mom so yeah. and then we we thought we were leaving early enough to have no problem catching the ferry but here we are so yeah. so oh, if you well. come to BC uh, don't get on the ferries yeah. don't come to Vancouver Island we're full and, uh, yeah. yeah it was fun though I mean it's it was whirlwind for sure but I mean oh god Axel's changed so much. Did you notice that he was like really shy today? Like he was, he was a little off. We he went wasn't over shy. He was flirting with the waitress and, oh, well, yeah, and everything this morning and making yeah. his faces and doing a thing. Oh yeah, that's his big that thing now. Stuff. He's starting to do facial expressions like oh, so big time. Funny. He does this <laughs> and, he, and he does the lip, the lip oh, thing. Yeah. And, and then he looks at you with this. Yeah, the sort of pearl, pearl pearl concentration face like you just see the little wheels turning <laughs> up there like you're yeah. wondering like what's he thinking and yeah it's really cute and so high energy like oh just running all God. over the place and yeah. you're constantly watching he doesn't run himself down the stairs and make oh, sure the man. gate's closed and yeah and, i'm uh, i have i have a bum ankle right now and so running after him was not an option um but man he's a cutie so it's your classic um Quick, get over to see the family. Yeah. You know, short and sweet. You sleep on a horrible bed. You're back <laughs> telling you the next day. We both woke yeah. up like, oh. Yeah. So, but, so it's not always nice to see everybody, but it only takes one day over here in this crazy <laughs> lower mainland trying to get around in the traffic and stuff to realize why we don't live here yeah. and why we like being where we are. Even though we're getting busier there, it's nothing like here. No. But... Uh, Oh, well. Yeah, so now we've got, we were supposed to go and pick Bailey up, um, but now we were told that we don't have to get her until tomorrow morning, which is really nice. Because we wouldn't, we're not going to get over to the other side now till 10 o'clock, it'll be 10 o'clock or later, so by the time we get yeah. up to, to pick her up, it would be pushing 11 o'clock. Yeah. So our sitter's uh, daughter is actually <laughs> home from work tomorrow, so, and I have my first job in Parksville, which is right up where they are, so I can just go do my first job and grab her on the way back and bring her home and then continue on with my day so that's that's kind of how it's gonna yeah. go i guess yeah 
Then my daughter just sent me the most adorable picture. Apparently, I mean, for all of my OGs out there, um, for you, for the new people on my channel, hello. Um, you guys probably don't know, but my daughter is engaged to a fellow. His name is James Luke. He was on Highway Through Hell, um, the, the show, Canadian show. On and, the Discovery Channel. On the Discovery Channel. Yeah. Um, and so today, like, James is not on the show anymore, I don't think, but I think they're a season behind because they just showed the gender reveal that they had when Tia was pregnant. So, yeah, I think they're like a year behind or something. But, um, like most shows, right? yeah. So, anyways, um, he still is friends with all of them. Yeah, he's no longer in the towing industry. He's now driving yeah. in construction, driving a rock truck and uh, yeah, other trucks and stuff. But yeah, but he but knows them still, all. So they called him all. today. One of his boys, uh, Sammy, was in the ditch and he had a heavy, heavy recovery job with the tow truck. So he said, "Bring Axel. Axel will have his his first tow truck recovery." So I gather Sandy's going to be posting some pictures on yeah. here. Uh, they got him in his safety vest and his little hard hat. And of course, he was nowhere near yeah, the scene. Nothing, nothing dangerous, but it makes yeah. it look like he's on his first recovery. So yeah, it's, so it's it was cute. really cute. So um, they were nowhere near the site or anything, but they were like far enough away that he could still see it. And uh, so, yeah. And then he got to go and sit in a tow truck. And, and so it was really cool. But he had the biggest ass cookie. <laughs> So one of James's friends, who is also on the show, he is the uh, is uncle, un uncle. Um, He's got a lot of uncles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, gave him a huge cookie that was like the size of his head, mm. and he was happy. <laughs> you can just see it in the pictures. I'll show you some pictures here. And uh, oh my goodness, he just looks so adorable. So yeah, he was so cute. <laughs> That's going to be a framed picture, I'm sure. So, anyway. But, yeah, so we're just waiting to get up to the ticket booth to pay for our to ticket. see if we can even get on. Well, Good we know grief. we're not catching the 630. And, uh, well, he said you're probably going to be on the 805. So there's still a slim chance that we might miraculously sneak on. Well, it's, it's, we also didn't take into consideration that today is the first day of spring break. But I would have thought that would mean that everybody was coming over and not going back today because they don't have to get back to school tomorrow. Well, no, because there'll be people that will want to go up to Tofino. And no, we're not taking any tourists or visitors. <laughs> the only tourists or visitors are coming to Shemina's to come right. into your shop. That's yeah. starting tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, cool. and we didn't... Did you tell them about oh, the yarn? I haven't so, showed you guys the yeah. yarn. Sandy bought six million... I did not. Okay, 600 no, balls of yarn. No, I did not. Our trunk is entirely full of yarn. No, I did not. Over $300. Yes, but it's not as much as At you $3 think. a ball, which means that's over 100 balls of yarn. Yeah, so it doesn't look like that when you're actually looking at it. But hold on, I'll show it, it to you. It doesn't look like $600. No, hold on. Okay, so this is Katia yarn. And it's, I believe, from Norway. I said Norway. Um, I think. Uh, Spain. Sorry, Spain. And I'd never heard of Katia yarn before, but apparently they have quite a quite a variety. So this one I saw online and I didn't know quite if I wanted to get it because of the way that it's um, spun. It's not, I don't think it's spun. But anyway, it's, I don't know if you guys, can you guys see that? <laughs> I can't see if it's focused. I think you can. It's, um, it's more tubular. It's woven is what it is. But it's, God, it's like a woven type yarn. See that? So I wasn't entirely sure if this is something that 
anybody would want to work with. And she was saying that a whole bunch of knitters were coming over and they were going crazy over this yarn because they thought it was so cool. And I was like, they're going to knit with this? That would be awfully heavy. But, okay. But there is the brand. And it is um, upcycled yarn. And it's 50% cotton, 47% 40, polyester, and 30% other fiber. Polyamide, maybe? I don't know. So, but I love this color. It's like a teal. I don't know if you guys... The this, this sun's kind of in the way here. But it's a beautiful teal color. And then I got another one that's more of um, like a copper color. It's in the trunk. So, but anyways, I got a couple packs of this. I thought, well, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I thought it might make a really cool summer top. If it was like light and airy, like a big, big hold type of um, uh, stitches. Um, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how my clientele, my customers like it. And then this one, this is interesting. This is actually made from um, bamboo, sugar, sugar cane, sugar cane. And... <clears throat> Uh, it's Lan Lana Gato, Gat Gato, sugar. Um, but it's 100% sugar cane. I was like, what? Like, really? So there's the, the ball band. And look at this color. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like, oh, yeah. It's like very bright and airy, but it's very fine. It's like a, I think it's like a, num a number one or two, but they're ball bands. It's in it It's from Italy. It, but it doesn't show. It says 137 yards, 125 meters, 50 grams, and then it says one and three quarters. Uh, <laughs> okay not too sure what that means but it says 100% viscose sugar cane who knew didn't have a clue so it comes in bags like this I can't remember what, how many colors of this we got we only got a few I think <clears throat> so but this one this is the drum roll this is oops this is the Egyptian cotton that I was going after. And I got all of it that she had. Um, so, there's the label. And it's 50 gram ball, 135 meters, 100% cotton, like Egyptian cotton. But it is really soft. It's definitely a fine yarn, but yeah, it's really pretty and it's really soft. It's very light, uh, but it comes in like a box like that. The 10, 10 little donuts, but I got, I don't even know how many, I got six or seven of these, um, these boxes. Didn't I? Yeah, we yeah. yeah, Something like that. Yeah. In a bunch of different colors. <clears throat> so, yeah. And then I got a few, excuse me, a few other ones. Um, I didn't, it, there wasn't a lot there that uh, I got, but it was also some cotton that I'll show you guys later uh, when I get to the shop. But this, this stuff, I'm really hoping that this stuff is going to sell really well. Um, I really hope it sells well. So, but this stuff, it's going to be, <laughs> yeah, this stuff is, it's going to be the wild card. I'm not sure how anybody's going to like this. So that's why I got the two colors. So I, cause I thought, well, I know Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches just came out with a, um, she did premiere week, premiere week. Hi Jennifer. 
and she did two tops that were really cool and I want to do one of those tops um, and I might do it out of this we'll see how it goes so but anyway that's where I got and uh, I'll take you guys to the shop tomorrow and show you all show you it all set up <laughs> and for those of you that are on my uh, Facebook I'll put it on the the crochet a Facebook site and I will put it on my my spirit Raven site and I'm getting a glare sorry you guys um, <clears throat> I'll put it on both sites and uh, yeah so, I am Cannon, so okay so I guess I will go and uh, we will talk to you guys later.